Hi guys, take a 536 for another video for you today. Okay guys, today I've got how to overclock your RAM. So let's get straight into this and you're going to want to download two programs. Links are in the description. You go follow those links so you can get the exact programs which I'm using. These two programs are Memtest and CPU Tweaker. So Memtest is a stress program, so that will be we'll be using that to make sure that your overclocked RAM is stable and the CPU tweaker will be changing the timings of the RAM. So guys, RAM works in a totally different way to see to your CPU. Um it's got it's got a frequency, but it also had like like your CPU has like your CPU's got 2.3 gigahertz, 3.2 gigahertz, whatever. The RAM's got 6 uh, 1600 megahertz. It's got so that that's the same, but then it's also got timings, so CAS latency timings, it's got loads of different timings, many of which are very complicated, but we'll be going through the basics and that will give you a huge the and these guys will give you a huge boost in RAM if you're cha in spe RAM speed if you're changing these. So you want to download CPU tweaker as well, and the first thing you want to go and do is go in CPU tweaker, as you can see here. Um go in and find out your CPU your RAM settings. Um, so here you can see I've got six six hundred and sixty six megahertz at nine point nine point two nine point nine point nine point two four and one point five volts. So that's what it's also dual channel, so that'll be useful to work out when we're in the seat in the BIOS. So now there's a photo on the screen of the BIOS. Um, this is this is not not everybody's BIOS will look the same, um, but this will just give you a rough idea of what some BIOSes will look like and what you're actually looking out for. So you want to be changing the frequency, as you can see on the screen now, the frequency of the RAM. And realistically, because we've got CPU tweaker, you don't really want to be changing. You don't want to be changing the timings or anything like that. So there's no point, as you can see here on the screen now, there are some timings which you could be changing, but there's no point because we've got CPU tweaker, as I said. Um, and if you can't change these in CPU tweaker, it could be a possibility to change them in BIOS. But usually, if you can't change them in CPU tweaker, then you won't be able to change them in BIOS either. Okay, guys. So once you've backed out of your BIOS, you want to be going into CPU tweaker. And the way this works is, so you got to you're in risk. And then we've got over here, we've got dual channel, so A and B channels over here. We've got a voltage voltage um, over here, and then you've got your CAS latency. And that can't be changed on my computer, but as you can see on the screen now, there are some photos where everything can be changed. And some of those other settings at the bottom don't necessarily need to be changed, and they won't give you, unless you're doing something very specific, a huge boost in performance. So these these here are the main ones that you want to change, and you want to change them up by one each. Everything that you can change, you want to change up by one. I wouldn't recommend doing anything more than one, because it could ruin your system and not also this here I usually go f if it's on times 8 then you could probably go up to times 10 um, and then boost and then that will um, take it up max frequency that is and you want to make sure you've got turbo ticked everything which I've got on here you want to also have ticked then click apply and exit that now mem test is a it's a stress tester for RAM <coughs> so you'll be so you'll be testing out your RAM to its full capabilities and seeing whether it can be stable over 20 minutes so as you can see here this is how you've got this is the basic instructions quit every pro program running on your computer click OK to close this window and then click start testing let men test run for at least 20 minutes so I'm not going to qu quit every program because I'll have to quit um, my screen recorder and then you want to click start testing and it will test all of the unused RAM. Um, so any RAM that you're not using for just keeping your system running, it will test that. So that's really what you want to. That's really what you want to do, guys. Um, test as much test as much RAM as you can. And if it fails, then it will tell you. And um, then you want to go back into CPU tweaker, CPU tweaker, and you want to go and change change any of these settings in here. So guys, thanks for watching. If you, this, this video helped you, please like and subscribe. If you've got any questions, stick them in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.